Greetings, Old Man Grognard here for another episode. And uh, today I want to talk about music in role-playing games. Now, music is a great way to set the mood. I have never been able to consist. I myself have never been able to consistently use it, but I want to start trying it in the in the weeks to come in the in the future. And um, it can, like I said, it can really help set the mood or keep the mood going. Um, as far as like using music, background music is good to have in the background. So you have a boombox, you have a computer streaming, something like that. That's a good thing. Uh, just don't let it interfere with the game. What I'm saying is if it gets too loud or if the mood is kind of off, say you're doing some secret uh, skulking around in a dungeon or some other place like that and you're playing some big old metal, you know, kind of adventure thing, then uh, I would seriously like either turn it off or change it. Um, and, and as a DM, don't let it run the game. What I'm saying is, if you're paying more attention to the music than you are running a game, turn off the music. Um, sources, as far as like how to do that. First of all, uh, my group, when we play D&D, &D, my DM has his laptop sitting on a ledge tuned to a streaming radio station or his whatever his playlist is on his hard disk, which is a lot of fantasy stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. We don't really get into like specific things, but you can. Um, I know it's difficult to cue things up when you're really like into a game or something like that. That's why you should think about, if you're going to do something like that, think about getting a, what they call a soundboard. Uh, soundboard uh, radio, it's from radio. Um, basically, they're preloaded tracks on a board. And it's, it could be a physical board set up for it, or it could be something virtual on your desktop. Hell, I got one on my phone, okay? And what you do is you load the music beforehand, how you want, what you want to use, and uh, it's basically push button. So it's like, oh, okay, you swing your great axe, click, clink. Oh, yeah, he blocked it, that kind of thing. Or, you know, so usually if you're going to do it as a DM, I would save it for like, special things like, oh, the bomb went off or something like that. So it's get kabam or something like that, or you crash or, you know, whatever the, the big, the big bad guy shows up. Um, you can load either like sound effects, there are sound effects out there. And you can also roll, uh, load music. And a lot of the soundboards let you loop the music. If you're doing like an extended fight scene and you want it going on and on in the background and then you it's and like I said it's push button it's loop boom turn it on boom turn it off in and out you don't have to worry about queuing stuff up and things like that um, as far as sources for music go um, two of my favorite sources are jamendo.com which is pretty much a clearinghouse for public domain not really public domain but royalty free, free music Tons and tons of artists put their albums and music on Jamendo in every kind of genre you can think of, every kind of type of music you can think of. So you look, can look up like role-playing game music or soundtracks or uh, orchestrations, blah, 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 blah. You know, just go down. And, for, and it's really easy to pick and choose. Um, the If you're using, say, if you're doing, say, like I'm doing 50 Fathoms, you want... Music that sounds like the open sea and piracy, they got it. Um, another place is Incompetech.com. This guy makes music that's uh, royalty free. Of course, you're using it commercially, you know, you got to pay him. But uh, you, a lot of podcasters use him. I use his music all the time on our podcast. And uh, he's always putting new stuff in there from projects he's done or stuff he just got. And, and you know, the, the mood runs the gamut from electronica to orchestration to horror to you name it, he's got it. And he's got a lot there. Um, that's that's a pretty good deal. Um, other thing, of course, movie soundtracks. Movie soundtracks are wonderful for games. Um, I was using, for 50 Fathoms, I was using the Pirates of the Caribbean 3 movie soundtrack at, at my game. 
um, if you want to do, uh, say, I don't know, a Deadlands Noir, which I also have coming up, I'm probably going to use uh, sw either swing music or something jazzy. Um, and, and little things you can find, like uh, a friend of mine gave me a uh, DVD set of all three seasons of the old Peter Gunn um, TV show from the 50s. And the music was by, the, the title tune and all the music was by Henry Mancini. And it comes with an extra disc of music from Peter Gunn, which is perfect for like a film noir, mystery, you know, 30s, 40s, even Call Cthulhu, you could probably use it for. Um, and, you know, little things like that. And also, like, here, here's one. DVDs, there's a few, some DVDs out there, like Criterion does this, but others, others have done this before. They'll um, give you the separate, um, you can watch the movie, but they also give you on there, you can fix it so it's a separate track of just the music. Use that. You know, you can, t you can if you can put it on, you can, you know, put it in your computer and try and get, and get the, the soundtrack off of there and do that. You can tell I like to mix and stuff. And, um, and those are the two places to go, to go gemendo.com and Comptech.com, plus everything else I mentioned. Um, good mu moon music. People who play fan there's a lot of people who play fantasy out there that like to use metal. And I mean loud metal. And while that may fit the mood once, sometimes I'm more into the, uh, you know, uh, Max Steiner, Eric Wolfgang, Korngold type, um, you know, Bernard Herrmann type uh, music, you know, vast, you know, heroic and, you know, things like that. And, you know, me, metal sounds the same every time I hear it, you know. Yes, it's good for conveying, you know, heated battle and things going on, boom, 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 like that. But to me, it's like, no, no, this is not, the, one, this is not the mood I want, and two, get it out of my ear. You know, I'm trying to play here. Um, but like I said, some people that use that in metal, I'm not, you know, I'm, it's the whole thing that I really don't want to get into. Um, and if you can orchestrate it, like I said, with a soundboard, if you can orchestrate it, that's great. But don't make it the be all and end all, as I said. You know, if you want to say something happens, you press a button on your soundboard, boom, it happens, then it happens. Um, I had, I soundboarded a Ghostbusters game on my phone that worked great. I had the sounds, I had the cutscene intro, I had the, the, the theme music on there, I had, um, you know, powering up the proton packs and shooting the wands and ghosts exploding and stuff like that. And it was, it was a lot of fun. And I only had like three or four sound effects. So, and, and it worked, and it worked really, really well, actually. Um, I'm thinking of using it in my next 50 Fathoms game, some kind of, uh, some kind of music for, you know, like specific music for specific scenes. That's the hard part. That's the real hard part. If you're, if you're not into something like that. And to me, the reason, one of the reasons I haven't used music as much as I like to use music, I hate sitting there going, okay, all right, I'll cheer that. Okay, that one. No, no, no. no that. All right, listen. To that. I'm going through music and listening and listening and trying to pick out what I want. And, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of that way. Um, I'd rather just get on with the story and things like that. Anyway, that's my music um, suggestions on how to use music. I'm sure there's more I've forgotten, but you can probably tell me about it if you want to drop me an email or anything else you want me to to talk about. If you want me to talk about something specific, um, drop me an email at oldmangrognard at gmail.com. Um, I don't get much traffic for some reason. I think I've gotten like three emails since I've opened the email, um, the email uh, account. But anyway, oldmangrognard at gmail.com. All right. Well, that's it for this time and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>